Welcome to Exam Assure. Today, we are going to have a discussion on the previous paper analysis for the upcoming exam, which will be conducted by ISRO for the post of Scientist Architect. In this video, we are going to look at the exam pattern, the marking scheme that will be done for the exam, have an overview of the syllabus, as well as look at the previous papers in detail uh, with respect to the analysis and what needs to be focused on when you are preparing. So if you see as far as the exam pattern is concerned, the exam is divided into two stages. That is the written exam and the interview part. So in the written exam, uh, what again, the further division that is there is part A and part B. So part A will be consisting of the respective discipline that is questions related to architecture will be asked in part A. And for part B, it will contain questions related to aptitude, reasoning, etc. And once a candidate qualifies written exam, that is when you will be called for the interview. Now, as far as the marking scheme is concerned, for part A of the paper, that is your architecture specific questions, we will be having 80 questions for 80 marks, that is one mark each, out of which in part A, 75%, that is 75% of these 80 questions will be related to core architecture, whereas the other 25% percent will be related to allied area topics for example questions related to environment and so on and so forth again with part a you have negative marking that is there so for every wrong answer every uh, one mark question which is answered wrong you will have a one third negative marking so one third marks will be deducted and as far as part b is concerned you will be having 15 questions containing 20 marks. And in this case, for part B, there will be no negative marking. So the total paper is going to be of 100 marks where you have negative marking for part A, but there will be no negative marking for part B questions. Likewise, here they have mentioned the same with respect to the notification that was released. And in part B, what is mentioned is questions related to numerical reasoning, logical reasoning, diagrammatic reasoning, um, abstract reasoning and deductive reasoning will be asked. So you have uh, questions, one can expect questions related to speed, distance, time and all of that with respect to numerical reasoning. With diagrammatic reasoning, questions related to some uh, four figures will be given and in the options, you will have to choose the fifth one, which is uh, the correct answer. Likewise, questions. And with respect to the previous year paper, which is the most important thing as far as your preparation is concerned, and hopefully if you are preparing or if you've not even started, uh, I'm sure this will be very helpful for you. So if you see uh, in this table, we have put up the number of questions in the past five exams that have happened or that have been conducted by ISRO. So the maximum number of questions, if you see, are from the subject of history of architecture. So in 2015, you had eight questions. In 2017, 17 questions. In 2018, 13 questions were related to history. In 2019, nine questions were related to history. And in 2020, 14 questions. So likewise, if you see, Till date, 61 questions have been asked only from history of architecture. Then, of course, you have other important uh, topics like building construction, building services, uh, building bylaws, where again, in this, with respect to building bylaws, your national building code, that is NBC 2016, is going to be your most important resource and questions are more or less asked from this area only. Then you have subjects, other subjects like climatology, landscape, etc., which are the core subjects that we study in our bachelor's level in architecture. So if you see again, 49 questions overall, let's say more than 10 to 12 questions every year is are what are expected in building construction. Likewise for building services and all of that. Then you have a little less weightage if you look at environment, 
or if you look at some questions related to planning now planning is something that is not a core part of architecture right it is something more or less related to planning so in that case these can be called as the allied areas as mentioned in the notification that we saw right other than that the focus is also on transportation urban design government schemes that is something very very important and professional practice where one can refer the council of architecture website also which would be helpful for your preparation in case you are doing self study so just to conclude if you see these are the major subjects that one needs to focus on now why i have written these down is because if you see the notification there is no specific subjects or syllabus that is mentioned so this is an analysis that comes from the previous year papers and these are the subjects that you need to focus on when you are doing your preparation so you have history of architecture building construction services building bylaws climatology landscape structures again with respect to structures also if you see the previous year papers it these are more of theoretical questions or uh, you can expect them to ask formulas rather than solving questions so if you if you go through the previous year papers you will get an idea of the same as well right then you have planning history environment project management that is basically questions related to cpm pert all of that in softwares you have questions more or less related to your autocad autocad commands that are asked then design and graphics transportation etc with respect to the government schemes also you can expect questions with respect to the latest ongoing schemes that are more or less related to architecture and planning for example if you see the pmey pradhan mantri awas yojana which is a very important scheme with respect to planning and house so you can expect questions with respect to that as well and likewise and of course aptitude so these again if you see uh, the list has been prepared in a chronological order with respect to the weightage that has been given by isro in the past five years when they have uh, conducted the exam so i hope uh, this is helpful for all of you and thank you and wish you all the best